Hey, John. How's it hey, going? Ginger. Good. Great. Good to see you again. You too. Um, last time I saw you, uh, we had a problem with the ball going left to right. And what brings you here today? Well, I think I've improved on it, but uh, I'd like to get a lot more consistency. Still inconsistent with it on the slice, but it's definitely gotten better. Okay. You stayed in the same fairway? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. So, so what do your misses look like? Uh, well, actually, uh, with working on my grip a little bit, sometimes it's too strong. I'm actually going left sometimes. Oh, um, well, that's and, a big uh, change. On my, on my irons, I'm keeping it fairly straight, but my driver's still a little bit left to right. Okay, so a little erratic with the driver. That's right. Okay, so uh, we did work on your grip, and uh, the one thing I'm not sure we touched on, uh, we got your grip a little stronger, but if it goes too strong, the ball may pull to the left. Right. What happens is one hand overtakes the other and it rotates the wrist. It becomes very rotational swing if it's too strong and it'll turn it over. Uh, so uh, we'll watch the grip a little bit today. And is there anything else? Uh, I've been working on my posture. Good. And, Wonderful. Uh, and now I think I, I, I need to work on transferring that weight. Transferring the right weight. Okay, last time you had trouble getting over on your backside, and is it the same problem? Yes. yes. It is. Okay, so you having trouble on your back swing? Uh, no, coming back through it. Okay, so yeah, it's the yeah, forward yeah, swing. Yeah. It's your finish. Right, okay, so right. the finish. There's a couple of things we can do for the finish, uh, but why don't I have you hit a couple of balls first, and okay. let's, let's see what's going on. All right. What club have you got there, John? It's a seven. All right, have you done any equipment changes since I've seen you last? No. Have you had any physical problems since I've seen you last? No. Great. Okay, let's go with it. A little fat on that one. Yep. But it was straight. Yes, very straight. <laughs> Actually, that's really nice compared to... Uh, well, we left on a good note last time, but you had patience. Always want to leave on a good note. Yep, absolutely. Go. I felt like I came through that one better than the first few. Absolutely. What I noticed, um, uh, like you said, correct about the transfer. Right. If you don't transfer your weight, you're going to hit somewhat behind the ball. Okay, so that's why we need to get your weight over on the front side. And I've got a drill for you for that. Uh, however, I do want to see you hit a couple more okay. balls, see if there's anything else in there that we can fix. Came fast. up on that one, maybe? It's okay. A little fast. No, a little fast. A little stiff. No body at all. Bad habits creep back in? Yeah, they do. They do. They just keep coming. Till you, til you override them. A little thin? Yep. Got to find that spot on the ball? Yep, that's okay your eye behind it. Don't forget you only hit a couple of balls, so, you know, it takes a while for the memory to get going. Ah! Opened it up. <laughs> Alright, so, um, what creeped back in right there was almost the over-the-shoulder type of thing. Okay, so, what we did with that was, uh, last time I had you work with the inside approach, this little thing here, you remember this little Keeping gadget? Keeping it underneath that? Yeah. Yes, yep, on your downswing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of tees there and at first we'll do a little slow swing, a short swing, hit the tee, and when you get used to it, we'll get a little longer, a little longer, right. and then I'll have you hit a couple of balls from underneath there. Okay. Okay. Uh, like last time, this is a little awkward, you know, but uh, you actually got it pretty quick last time, right. so. So we'll continue with this little gadget, and then we'll work on that uh, so shift I hit over. The tea, right? Yeah, just want to hit the tee, make contact, little swing. Behind it. 
Yeah, just a little from here to here, John. Just so you get. That's it. Okay, go ahead and do it again. That's it. is going in a great direction as you can see by the divot the here right. yeah the divot's going completely straight and that's beautiful okay so like i said the cause of hitting behind the ball or not making a complete good contact what i see might be you hanging back okay on the back side i had trouble getting you to get on the back now i've got trouble getting you off to the bring back. Your back yeah <laughs> so uh let me go uh with a little drill this might be a little bit um, tough drill, but uh, you know, if you don't like it, we don't have to do it. But it's a really good drill, so if you can possibly like it, like it. Okay. Because it's a good drill. It really, it's really going to get you over on your front side. So what I'm going to have you do is put your two feet together, like so. And I'm going to give you a count of one for the back swing. One, and you're going to put your foot forward. Gonna swing you see how that comes through yes and then you're going to pull your foot right off the ground and pull it up here okay and that's going to get you over to your front side um, try that drill a couple of times let's see how it goes it's uh, more of a drill to really get you over on your side Four. excellent do you feel that Feel falling forward. You feel, yeah, you yeah, feel falling yeah, forward. Yeah. That's what it's supposed to do. Just wonderful. Get that coordination. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. You, you got so much power that you can put behind that ball. One, two, three. Excellent. <laughs> now if I could just stand on it. Yeah, but okay. Uh, okay. So how how do you do that from not falling over? Is is a balance thing. Right. Okay. So once you get used to it, right now you're kind of pushing it. Like I'm lunging. Yeah. It feels like I'm lunging. Yeah, but that's okay because that's what the drill makes you do. Okay. But so now when you finish, this should all be rested on top of this knee, this foot. Okay, so it shouldn't go over. The drill is gonna make you go over, but right. when you do the actual swing, okay, the feel would be okay. to have everything on this left side here. One, two. Excellent. Excellent. A little better. Yeah, excellent. In terms of the balance, I mean. Yeah, if you do that like 10 times a day, um, and you don't have to have a club, club in your right. hand, yeah. you could just do this. Yeah. You don't have to swing hard. Just the motion alone okay. will remind you. All right, so um, go ahead, do that a couple more times, and then we'll hit some balls. Excellent. That, was, that felt better. Excellent. You get it after a while. Excellent, John. Very nice. All right, so now when you go to hit balls after doing this drill, don't be discouraged if you don't hit them right away. Something. Yeah, absolutely. Whenever you change something, it takes a while to get used to. You know, it's like eating a, a different food that you haven't had before. It might give you a funny taste, and then you go, oh, I grew accustomed to it. <laughs> well, this is the same thing with golf. It doesn't always work. That doesn't mean that you quit on it, because it is the correct thing to do. Okay, so um, I don't know if you want to use the lineup sticks, or you don't have to. Uh, the inside approach, let me move this aside for now. that was going to happen. Yep. You could put this on a T if you like also. Is it better on a T? Uh, I no. don't mind working this okay. way. Bottom. 
apart now. <laughs> it's okay, shake it off. Shake it off. I think I'm at, these are fogging up a little. Yeah, don't, uh, don't try to do this drill. Right, while maybe you're that's playing. what I'm, yeah. No, the feeling is, that's supposed to be you a sensation. You to come natural, yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be a sensation of you getting the weight over on the other side. Uh, we don't want you lunging over the ball, you know what I mean? So again, the shoulder stays back. Like in the first lesson, we had you put the shoulder right. back. And when you come down, you're gonna come down over here. You're gonna push this foot, swing, get the hips out, and back up again. Well, you know what the issue is. The issue is, is getting over on the front side. But let's go back and hit the ball the way you were. That's a great shot there. That's good contact, John. Did I come through it better on that? Yeah, one? you did. Excellent. Ah, look at you. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'll take that. Yeah, I will too. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than you hanging back here and it's slicing it to the right, you know? Well, that's, that struck well. That was struck well. feel a little bit like I'm coming through it more. Yeah, wow. No, you're, I'm, I'm watching just that. Um, so I'm, I'm not too concerned that it's going a little bit left. Right. Because your big problem was all the way right. So that, I'm, that I only feel like means I'm getting more behind it now. Yeah, that only means that more you're, power getting, you're, it you're more stronger with it. Absolutely. When you just yeah. come right over the top, you know we got to get that nice feel in here. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Down. Uh, John, the first lesson I had with you. Had this foot a little bit open, and I see that going back again to where it was. I would pull that one a little bit, turn the toes out a little. This will give you, yeah, this will give you a little more balance okay. and something to go on. You know, when you make your back turn, you'll have something to rest on, which is when you turn these out, you're able to rest on the balls of the feet better, and, and your balance will be a lot better, also. I don't want to add too much to the repertoire, but this is stuff we've already <laughs> talked about. And uh, I know it's a lot. It's been a while, but if we're going to add on, we need to get the rest of it. There you go. What do you think of that one? That was among the best. Yes. So far. That was one of your best. That was great. You've got more in there. month I really haven't done much at all. Okay, well you can't expect from too much From a schedule then. standpoint. Yeah. A little fat. Yeah, but even still, look how nice. I actually like the, like the strike of that ball. Even though you got a little bit, it's not like a, it's not a digging into the ground uh, miss. It's just hitting a little bit behind it, but you're coming into the ball really nicely. Right now, you are in right over that red pole. Oh, that's yeah. Maybe 
maybe the best one. That's so your far. best one right there. All right, so I'm going to rate that at probably a uh, ten to you. Today. Today, that's a ten. Yeah. Uh, the other one that we liked was I'm going to go with a nine on that, and the rest of them just mediocre. So let's let's start rating them after you hit them. Scale from one to ten. I'll show you something. <laughs> You're gonna give that one. I just a five? got behind it. I just got behind it. I mean, at least it yeah, was you straight. Did. You did. Is this area straight, okay for you, or do you want to move fine. back a little bit? See, that stuff, I don't makes ruin. Me, that stuff makes me nervous. I can't hit out of that. I don't want to ruin too many spots on oh, the uh, good. Right. Don't worry about it. They fill them right back up again. The grass is gone the next day. Okay, what do you think? Nine. Yeah, absolutely. I just still feel like I can you know what's get really more power nice? behind them. But what's really nice yeah, is your ball flight. Um, the trajectory of your shot is really nice, and the fact that it's not going way left to right. Yeah, I'm not getting any of that. No, and I do like you are shifting over. Maybe yeah. not as much as you want to, but you're going to feel it. Well, to you, just by way the ball is going, I'm just going to move you up to Well, I've seen the tension on your face on the back swing. As soon as you made the back swing, you made this face. I think part of that is because, first of all, the ball Just get the tension out. So the club's already coming inside. Secondly, is you have to throw this with the golf ball. Your upper body's in this way. Just almost feel kind of different. So almost on this one here, almost feel like it's about a nine. It's about a nine. Flight was a little, little different than your ordinary shot. A little lower, shots. but yeah, little different than your ordinary shot. You ordinarily ones fly high, and that wasn't awfully low, but that's one that's going to run a long way. Right. All right. Can you stay right where you are? All right. Oops. Set up again. No. Nope, no. Nope. We'll just see something. Here. Correct. To me, it you appears know, that this foot short. is back more. Then this one? Pull, pull it forward a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I, I even okay. thought I was trying to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just, so the just watch gets that out foot. without even realizing it. Watch yeah. that foot because I'd rather see you pull this one a little bit forward than a little bit but back. I even thought I had it a little It's going to make a big difference when you do your finish swing. Because if you've got this lead foot too far back when you're finishing your swing, it's very hard to finish on your front foot. So we want that one a little more forward than the other. That's it, right there. You comfortable? Don't swing unless yeah. you're comfortable. Yeah, I think though I'm going to have to do that late yeah. as opposed to trying to set up that way. Yeah, absolutely. Because I almost feel like it is forward, but it isn't. Right. No, actually, I had a new group, so I was going to take the shaft and go to last time. Really like There you go. Back to that ball flight, too. Yeah. All right, rate that one for That was a nine. It was a nine? Because it can always be better. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. You know, golfers are very hard on themselves, so so I understand what you're saying. I know I get out there and people say, good shot, and I'm like, oh, not really. Okay, uh, that was, I felt like that was a good yeah, shot. Yeah, remember the foot, because that will that will help your setup also. I got a bug here. Yeah. All right, sit back. But the thing about it is, let me get a towel. So you really haven't been playing much. You're really doing actually pretty good for not playing and not practicing.
rate that one? About a four. <laughs> it was straight. <laughs> that, that, I like that. Gotta find something good about it, right? Yep, you gotta like that. Now, don't forget your foot. Spread them out a little bit. Uh, I mean, this way. Point your toes out a little so you get your balance good. There you go, that was really clean. Alright, rate that good. one. Nine. Nine? Okay. Are you with me on these ratings? Or? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if I wasn't, I'd say, eh, yeah. uh, I'm going with you. Oh, rate that it's a one. nine and a half. Nine and a half. <laughs> Whoa, you're tough. You're tough. I'm going with a 10 on that well, one. Well, I'd go 10 if it was a little longer. I still want more power. <laughs> you still want more power? <laughs> but I'm already getting okay, tired. Okay, listen, so. Rome wasn't built in no, the I day. No, I know, I you know. I'm so having fun. Even God took seven days to create the world, so, so it's going to take a little longer. I mean, you're you're definitely on the road. Okay, so we got consistency going, we got straight going, and that one was pretty long. Rate it for me. Uh, that's another nine. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You're only saying that because you hit one that was better. Am I correct? No, I'm, I think you can always do better. Yeah. We got a ten in there, I'm thinking. <laughs> if I get a ten, why come back, you know? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> we want you to come back. It's my job. You have to come No, back. I mean to play at all. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people play. They don't care. <laughs> that might be my best one. Yeah. Look at look at you. Look at you. <laughs> I'll give that a nine and three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. You need to take a break? Uh, I'll hit one more here. Okay. I'm getting a little tired. Yeah, we got we got about uh, seven more minutes it. left. I can feel it in a good way in my back. Yeah, good. I mean, I'm working that yeah, different. Good. Than we can take a break if you need to. Hold it. Boy. Ah, still good. That's about a six. Yeah, it's okay. What I really like. Is that we're not seeing this right. to right, there. Right, right. We're not seeing all the way there to there. That was incredible. Okay, let me hit one more good one here. I'm going to get another good one in. Yeah. Well, you're not leaving until you do, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fat. Yeah, okay, you, you might be getting a little tired Yeah, here. I am, but I, can, I know I have another good one. Okay. Here it is, right here. Positive thinking. Give yourself a minute. Get your set up. And a boy like that. It's okay. I'm going to get a good one here. Golf has a lot of ups and downs, you know. Well, yeah, I got to tell you that when you get tired, really take a breather. Okay, I can rest on that one. All right, cool. All right, let's talk about it. You can't just rest. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first lesson, we changed your approach into the ball. And I see that's going pretty good. Every now and then you come over a little bit, so we pulled out the inside approach again and had you do a couple of drills just to get this going on. When you don't practice a lot, you tend to forget that stuff. And, and if you 
if you don't hit any balls at all before you go out to the course, you don't remember sometimes to the 17th hole and then it all starts coming together. Right, right. So uh, what you should do is uh, either make some mental notes on your way to the golf course or maybe the night before when you have a moment. Uh, try to remember a couple of things. I don't want you to go out there with a lot of stuff on your head, but um, two or three things, limited to three, no more than that. And so we worked on uh, your approach to the ball last time. We also worked on your shift back because you were staying on both feet when you were turning and it was just an arm motion. So now we had that going on. And so you come to me today and you've got a trouble getting through the ball and you think you can hit it better. Your ball flight is good. Your direction is good. And now we've got you with the drill that I just gave you. We've got you the sensation of getting over onto the front side. Right. Okay. Yeah, so I feel better about it. You feel better about it, and you feel the difference between getting off your feet. You can't be stagnant to the ground when you're swinging the club. I definitely feel it. Yeah. If you're stagnant either on the back swing or the forward swing, what happens is the club goes and the body stays, and the club will go in another direction, and so will the ball, not where you want it to go. Uh, so yeah, that, the feet on the ground for a short little chip is fun, and it's okay, but even when you get close to the green, you have to have this going on. If you don't, then it's just arms, and whichever way your arms go, the ball's gonna go. Okay. So we definitely need to get over on the front when you complete the swing. The balance issue, pointing the toes out a little tiny bit is fun. You'll find your spot. Right, I noticed right. you had them Just out like a lot. Just like with my grip, you yeah. find where their grip exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's different, yeah. so, you know, we're all going to have different uh, uh, ways of remembering and different ways of doing it, uh, degrees of doing it. So, um, me, I, t I like to turn them out a little tiny bit because, just because I can feel the balance both on my back swing and on my forward swing. So, if you ever start losing your balance again, think about your feet. I did feel more balance after I did that. So. Yeah, great, great. You want to hit a couple more before we go? Uh, I think I'm good, actually. Yeah, good, great. I feel good. All right. Everything was great, John. Thank you. Wonderful. Come see me again. I will. You're uh, doing next, a great job with me. Thank you. Next time you come, if you have all this put together, we'll work on something else. Uh, I think I heard you mention your short game one time. You had trouble with the short game. Well, that comes and goes. That comes and goes. I usually know pretty quickly in a round if, it's good, if I'm going to have it that day or not. All right, so give, give me a call down the line. Let me know okay. what's going on. Okay. I'd like to see how the lesson Thank worked out. Thank you for out. your help. It's been wonderful. Oh, you're welcome. Be sure and call me again and make sure you drink some water. I will. When you leave here. I will. All right, buddy. Thank you.